Dun, dun, dun. An excellent morning to you, Nigeria. Now, the week is still pretty fresh, pretty new. I know it's Tuesday, but we're loving every bit of it. Yes, already. we are. Yes, we are. And mornings <laughs> are a great time for us because we uh, get to show up every single morning and do something very, very special with you. Yes, indeed. It's a great show. Now, you already know. Mm -hmm. It's always amazing on Wake Up Nigeria. But this is how it goes down. We have one hour, 45 minutes of pure entertainment. We educate you in a way that you cannot help but love. In fact, I know you're reaching through your TV right now. You're hugging your TV. You know what? Move closer to your TV and give us a hug. Just, just do this. Yeah. It's not working, is it? <laughs> but honestly, our hearts go out to you every single morning. And uh, you know, there's stuff that everybody loves. Yeah, of course. Right? Everybody loves music mm -hmm. and food. And of course, everyone loves to know about uh, what, you know, their favorite celebrities. Yeah, we course. bring them on on the show every single day. Uh, of course, uh, and also, there's always something special in mm. the kitchen as well. My name is Yomi Ope. And I'm Titi Lyo Oinson. So it's really important that you know this. We're streaming live just for you. TVContinental.tv is our website. And of course, on Facebook Live right now, hook us up at TVC Connect. Your comments are very, very important to us. Make sure you send them over. Tell us what you're doing to plan for the end of the month when salary heats, as Mike said. <laughs> um, now, it's going to be really, really fun. Just make sure you put in the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. All right, and joining us for uh, her debut on the show this morning is uh, in the kitchen is Chef Ify with Mary. Hey, That's guys. Right. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, hey. Chef Ify is coming here for the very first time, and we can't wait to see what she'll make for us today. I'm <laughs> super excited about that. As I wait for you to enter my account, Titi Levels. Heat. You know, my is enter. It must heat. <laughs> it is so people should be claiming to heat. See, you know? I am Why? claiming to heat, but I'm being realistic with the entry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever, whatever. All right, so the tabletop is empty, so I'm expecting that there will be Don't something. Worry. Don't okay. worry. Well, there's very a lot soon. planned. All right. All you right, know right. what we always say about new chefs, you know? I mean, you know? What, uh, they're, they're very generous. Yes, we Extremely. love new chefs. Yeah, <laughs> we talk about All right, that. so straight to this morning's highlights. Uh, in entertainment news uh, this morning, we have a round off for you on happenings in the world of our celebrity. Mike, and of course, a uh, special guest will be joining us on the show for that. Yes, indeed. Can't wait, can't wait. And from Sam Eben, we'll be bringing you a live performance of Atoba Jaye. Ready to be praised. Atoba Jaye. Atoba Jaye. You are praised. You are praised. And after that, we'll move to our DIY segment for this morning. Uh, Stella Agawana will be joining us. Uh, to talk about ways of maintaining and storing your jewelry. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Now, also today, now raising kids can be trying at times, but is spanking them actually the right way to go about it when they go out of line? Aditun Lanri Adini will be here joining us to have that conversation a little later on. Yeah, it's always a big deal. Mm. Big argument about spanking children. Spare the rod, spoil the child. <laughs> that kind of conversation. So I want to hear that conversation, definitely. Uh, just because we can, we'll also be bringing you a second musical performance of the day. And this time, is going to be coming from singer, songwriter, Caesar. And that's going to be a performance that we're going to be looking at. Where you don't take my fancy, please come stay with me. Our week of Nigeria is that most of the time we have, you know, so much packed into the show. We don't even realize how much we've packed into the show the day before until right. we get on set and like, oh my gosh, it's there's so be, much. It's going to be packed. Okay, so. No, but I think, today, I think today's light. Mm, really? Mm. Okay. Auntie Pals. Well, we, we have. Do I see? Now it's the time to come and just say that they should not flog somebody or they should not spank. Is this spanky uh, so you now? You see this? Oh, nobody should come out. Nobody, nobody should just come and sit down. It's a very out. sensitive thing. Uh, yeah. So something happened in December. I got my girl a, a tab for Christmas. 
And then two weeks later, she dropped it. Meanwhile, it came with the case. Mm. And she refused to use it because she said the case was covering everywhere. Right. It's not letting her enjoy the use. And then this thing dropped. And it's, you know, it the it it's, it's breaking is even an understatement. Hell. So, like, yesterday, I decided to surprise her by fixing it. Came back home, just dropped it. So I went to bed because I was really tired. And then in the middle of the night, okay, my mind, it was middle of the night, but it was just past eight. <laughs> and then I just heard someone say, mommy, mommy, mommy. And then I went, okay. And she was like, my tab, you fixed it. Oh, uh, okay. And then I was like, yeah. And then the next thing, the sweetest thing, she just gave me a hug. Okay, so if you had spanked her, Imagine saying, if I had spanked her. I'd just be like, thank God you fixed it. She alive. Uh, uh, are you sure about that? Are you sure? that? So I think there are levels to this spanking thing. So you're yeah. a dad now. Mm -hmm. As a dad, you have to have that strong-handed, you know, stern... As a dad, I do more threatening than spanking. Really? I'm going to... <laughs> Yeah, yes. it's like that. So if you treat it too much and you don't spark, they will know. Yeah. When you're treating it, they all look at it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Daddy, you have come uh, in your so mind. It's, it's, it's a before. worst case scenario for me. So it, it, it's See, when, as, when as it comes double to... Trouble. <laughs> yeah, so it's a worst case. It's like I give the first warning, second warning first, <laughs> before even considering the spanking. spanking. everyone it's sweat o'clock this morning and we're going to be taking you through a series of workouts if you are ready let's do this all right we're going to start with jack feet just like that are you ready one two three let's go one two three four five six seven eight breathe nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine five more five Four, three, two, one. Okay, straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Calm down. So we're going into basic squat. So this is how you do a basic squat. You 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 lean into your heel. You stand up, you lean into your heel, stand up. But for the purpose of this workout, we're going to be sitting out our hands. One, two, three, let's go. One, up, three, two, chest up, three, breathe, four, breathe, five, six, stay with me, seven. This exercise works your legs. Nine. Ten, let's go, five more. Five, four, three, two, last one, one. All right, we're going to go into a kick out. So this is what you're doing. One, two, raise from your core. Three, activate your core. One, two, three, let's do this. One, two, three, always breathe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. Let's finish with the drop squat. One, two, three. This is what we're doing. Drop it. Drop it. One, two, three. Let's go. Drop. One, two. Keep your chest high. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Let's go. Ten. Now let's recover with a basic jog. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. Let's stretch it out. Hands to the opposite leg. 
One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Say stretch. Six. Take it easy. Seven. So we're going to stretch our quads. Are you ready? One, two, three. Balance. Let's go. Hold it. Always stretch after every workout. To loosen your muscles. Okay. Five, four, three, two. Move to the other leg. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, thank you for working out with us today. So let's go to the kitchen and see what is on the plate. All right, it's about time to get cooking in the kitchen this morning. And we have a new chef for you this morning. Earlier, we introduced Chef Ify, and she's super busy in the kitchen. Like, every time a new chef comes, there's always that extra busyness in the kitchen. Well, she says she'll be making for us this morning fish side dish with boiled rice, right? Yes. Chef Ify, come over, come over. We'll continue with all of that later. Yeah, so she's actually prepping the rice to boil. So what are we making today? Fish side dish with boiled rice. Fish, are you still half a week? No. I sound like you are alive. Do you know fish what this is called? Wake up dish. Nigeria. You want people to go back to bed? No, 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 no. Okay, please. so fish side, side dish. dish. With boiled rice. With boiled rice. The ingredients are on your screen right now. You want to check them out. A fish side dish with boiled, boiled rice. rice. That's a mouthful. Okay. <laughs> so what are we making use of? Okay, we are using fish. Okay. Carrots. Okay. Fresh pepper. Okay. And curry leaf. Okay. Green pepper. Okay. And uh, ginger. Okay. And then tomatoes, onion, cabbage, and then Irish potato boiled and diced. And then soy sauce. Soy sauce. Yes. Okay, so the Irish potato being boiled and diced already. Yes. How do they factor in with um, uh, rice? You see it. No, I That's don't want magic. to see. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. I'm sure so many people are curious. Okay, That's you said rice. Yes. But we can't even see the rice. She's actually washing the rice right now. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> but we can see the potato. So where is the potato going to be? Is it going to be mixed with the rice? Or no, okay, no, no, the no, sauce. Because the yes. there's always something magical with you chefs. The next thing I'll see is potato inside rice. No, no, no. <laughs> ah, okay. So what's the cooking process? Okay, we are going to boil, boil the, the rice, rice. Okay. first. And the fish is already um, steamed. Okay. So everything is pretty much ready. Okay. So we just start. So by what frying. do we do with all of this? We're going to fry. Yes. The onions Onion, first. Onion, yes. Okay. Carrots, okay. tomatoes. Okay. And then the to the um, Irish, Irish potatoes, potato, cabbage, green pepper, and then the fish goes in last, and then the curry leaf. Okay, the soy sauce at any point? That's, yes. At the end of it? Yes. Okay, so you, we stay together and then we have our fish sauce, fish, fish side dish. Side dish yes. with boiled <laughs> rice. Okay, so I'll let you continue with uh, the boiling, uh, the washing of the rice so okay. we can start boiling. Now, there's something really exciting about rice in the morning. Everybody just feels that extra energy that rice brings, of course. And uh, there's also the fact that when you have rice in the morning, it reminds you of sometimes our childhood back then. So many people, I could not relate, but so many people would say that Sunday morning was all about rice, like Sunday rice. And getting to eat rice almost every day now is just fantastic. Something else you can do for yourself, just like yesterday's meal, you could create something totally different from what you usually do. The usual is to boil, you know, to just cook stew or boil something by the side with your rice. But here's something you can do, and I'm sure it's going to take just a few minutes to get ready. All right, so Chef Ify, yes, the rice is ready to boil? Yes, it's ready. Okay, the water is uh, boiling. I think we can put in the rice shortly. You want to put some salt in there? Yes, but not now. Not now? No, not okay, now. so we are boiling the rice without salt for yes, now? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, then. Start the spring onion. You need some of that with spring onion. With spring onion. So you're, you're putting spring onion in the rice? No, in the sauce also. <sighs> okay, because I'm used to the purple onions in the rice. No, spring onion. There's a lot of Chef Ify's back on the show today. Chef Ify, could you come over here? 
you're very, very attractive, but would like to see your face as well. Okay, so as I was saying, we have um, the fish yes. because that's like the main uh, thing in the dish. Yes. But can I replace this with sweet potato? Yes, if you want. Are you sure? Yes. So it doesn't really plantain. matter as long as it's potatoes or plantain, or plantain even. Yes. Oh, fantastic. So we're, we're going on a break and now. And then the fish, you can replace the fish with any other protein. Oh, but it's called fish side yes, dish. Yes, then if you're replacing so it's chicken it, so side dish. Yes. Okay. We have to go on a break now. When we get back, you'll see the making of the sauce. So you don't want to miss that. Stay with us. It's Wake Up Nigeria. Wow, okay, in the garden again, yes, and it's me this time. Mm -hmm. You know I love it when a DIY segment comes along, especially when I get to talk about this stuff. Jewelry is a woman's best friend. Okay, well, they say diamonds are a woman's best friend, <laughs> but I would like to introduce to you Stella. Now, Stella is from DTW uh, Jewelry, right? Yes, correct. Jewelry, and she has come here to explain to us the best way to store your jewelry pieces. So um, there are different types of jewelry here, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so I can see a lot of beads. Yes. So should we stay with the bead type of jewelry or are we going into golds and silvers and things like that? We'll stay with the bead type of jewelry. Okay, mm -hmm. fantastic. So I, what are these called? Um, these are agat jewelry. These are agat jewelry. Okay. That was made by us. Okay. And also, it's made of um, agat in yellow, shades of yellow, orange, and white with okay. chain. Okay. So when I said what was this, I actually was pointing to oh to the stand. Yes, yes the stand. <laughs> <laughs> oh my bad. This is a mannequin stand. Okay. Yes. So I have never stored my beads this way before. Mm -hmm. Is this a good way to or the best way to store beads? If you have enough room and enough space, yes, this is the best way to store beads. Okay. Definitely. All right. So now if I have like 10 different beads, can I put all of them on top of oh, the no, same no, mannequin? Oh, no, 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 no. Drawer is rubbing against each other because it's tarnished. Okay. So you have to be careful. Put in gold, put in silver, put in things like beads. Mm. The surfaces don't shine as how you buy them okay. when you first bought them. Okay. They don't shine that much. So you have to be careful placing jewelry against jewelry. All right, so obviously I might not have space for more than maybe three mannequin, mannequin stands. stands. Yeah. And I know that because of all this Oambe, <laughs> we have like 12. <laughs> so how do we store the rest? <laughs> okay, so we have jewelry boxes. Okay. You have here jewelry boxes. Okay, Then like this. you also have, um, like this is a perfume box okay. right here. I converted it to a jewelry box. Okay, so this actually has used to have perfume in it. Yes. And you just put them all inside there. Yes. But, but I heard that putting all your jewelry together in one box was not a good idea. Yes, like same thing with the mannequin stand. So okay. instead of putting all the jewelry together, like you can see there, mm -hmm. they're packed in each of, each of them are packed in nylon bags. And you can also use Ziploc bags you use to store your food. Okay. Every bag, every jewelry should have, have its own pack. Okay. Just like the pouches we have here. Okay. The so, blue pouches. So this is another option for yes, storage. Yes, another option for storage. You can put your jewelry in here. Okay. So that each jewelry in one pouch. Okay. Don't put two jewelries in one pouch. Uh -uh. It's still going to tarnish because okay. they're rubbing against each other. So better still, you can have the reusable nylons. Okay. When you buy your jewelry. Like these? Yes, like this. And store two in that pack. So they're not rubbing against each other. Each one has its own okay. baggage. All right, so now each package, uh, this looks like a package for beads, right? Yes, it is. But is it the same with earrings? Now, I have to say, earrings, I have one bowl. <laughs> I just dump everything inside that one bowl. And then when I'm looking for the earrings, I just start searching, like as if I'm digging for gold. <laughs> but really, is that the best way to store No, it's earrings? not the best way. Because okay. if you notice, when you buy some earrings, they're looking all fine and nice. After one month, they begin to look brownish. It's not bad. It, it's just tarnish. It's just dirt from the other jewelry. Because when you wear your jewelry, first things first, do not use perfume and oil when you're wearing your jewelry. Use them before you wear your jewelry. Okay. So when you're wearing your jewelry, put on your lotion, put on your perfume, put on your hairsprays. Then after that, that's the last thing you should wear when you're leaving the house. Oh. So those oils, those creams stay on the jewelry and make it dull. So okay. you have to be careful. Okay. So when you put all your earrings in one bowl, or in one package, or in mm. one bowl, or in one yeah. um, box, mm. it will 
one month, trust me, look at it, it will look dirty. But it okay. is not. It will look like it's fading. Out. Mm -mm. It's just because you kept all of them together. So okay. you have to separate them, get nylon bags okay. like this. Bags like this. Or like the bag that it was packed in when you bought it. Possibly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. So I can also see you have what looks like a cute little earring stand. Yeah? Yes. Um, now, this I see this in the shops, but I don't really see it in people's houses. Is this a better way to store it earrings? It is. Like I said, if you have space, mm. if you have space, if you have a walk-in closet, mm. please, mannequins, yeah. do everything. Just let them. Just see it. Okay. Your, your money is looking at you. Okay. So if you have <laughs> enough space, please do. All right. So I, I, I've seen this in shops as well. What do they call this? Um, this is a bracelet stand. Okay. It's for bracelets. Mm. So you um, put your bracelets on it. So imagine if you have, say, six, ten bracelets. You yeah. can actually arrange them on this. And it will just look fine. You want a jewelry piece. You're not scattering, telling, oh, please, Kemi, where's my jewelry? Calling mm. your f sister's name. <laughs> you just go here. You are seeing your jewelry. Pick it up and remove it immediately and put it on your hand. But the one important thing is, when you get home, if mm. possible, your jewelry should be the first thing you take off. Okay. That mm. it's a, it's in jewelry, when it comes to jewelry, you have to give it, I would say, respect. It's just okay. like your shoes. Mm. You put your shoes in stands and you line them up. So when mm. you get home, remove your jewelry, put them where they are meant to be, then go about your day. Mm. That's mm. simple. Okay, okay. So I, I've seen the bracelet stand here and I can see the little cans or like the boxes here yes. for bracelets as well. I can see some pearls in here. Yes. But of course, as you said earlier, I guess we can't put more than one in here. Yes. If they are right. of the same size, like this is mm. a tiger eye bracelet. Mm. So if mm. of the same size, the same quality, mm. you can mount two on it. But okay. please don't let it look too, mm. too much. Too much. All right, then. So I have to say a big thank you to Stella from DTW Jewelry here. Thank you so much for coming thank to Showcase. Um, now, I've, I've heard it from her here. Not more than one on one stand. <laughs> and if you don't have space for stands, find a box, put them in bags. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Stella, for coming. Thank you. We have to head back into the studio now. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. All right, then, you're welcome again to the kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. A lot has been happening. The cooking has already begun. Uh, we've started boiling our rice. That should be ready in a bit. Now we've started with the sauce as well. Chef Ifi, a newbie, is in the kitchen today. And uh, what have you been doing so far? You started with oil. Could you yes. put us through? Okay. So oil first. Oil what else? First, onion. Okay. And then the carrots. And then the carrots. And now the tomato is going in. Okay. So why the carrots before the tomatoes? Because the carrot is a bit hard. So okay. you need to soften. By putting it first? Yes. It looks like corn. <laughs> it does, like sweet corn. Okay, so after the uh, tomatoes, what goes in there? The fresh pepper. The fresh pepper? Yes. Okay. Do they go in almost at the same yes, time? Yes, so much, yes. Okay, so almost in the same So after the fresh pepper, what goes in next? Then the green pepper. The green pepper. Wow, this is something that will probably take like three minutes. Yes. That's a simple meal. Very simple. Yeah. All you have to do is prep. The prep is what takes time. Yes. Okay. That's a lot of pepper though. <laughs> okay. I'm already feeling sorry for my throat. Sorry. <laughs> That's a whole lot of pepper. Goodness. Okay, so does this go in or it's gonna mm. boil for a while? Oh, it's ready. Okay. Yes. We so don't you want to have vegetables to overcook. You don't want the vegetables to overcook. Okay, yes. Go ahead, go so. ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so that goes in now. And with that comes the color. I love color in food. I'm sure you already know that. <laughs> Red, yellow, mm -hmm. green. That's one of white the main, from the onions. Mentioned with the dish. Okay. So, are you going to let this cook or next thing? Just a bit. I'm going to put my seasoning. Seasoning cubes. Yes. Okay. Just a bit of seasoning there. Wow. This is going to be a very tasty dish. All right. So what goes in after? Okay. The cabbage. The cabbage. Yeah, okay. but not now. Oh, so it's going to cook finally. Yes. I was thinking, let's just pour everything in, no, no. and then we eat, and everybody goes, <laughs> are you sure you cook this? <laughs> 
All right. So that was still for how long? Like three minutes, five two, minutes? Yes, three to five minutes. Okay. So if you're just tuning in, what we are making today is actually a very simple dish, as you can see. It's a fish side dish. Yes, with boiled rice. With boiled rice. Okay, so Chef Ify, of course, she's a newbie, and she's the one making today's dish. Now run us through what we're, the ingredients we're making use of. We have uh, our, rice. Our rice okay. boiling. We have uh, tomatoes, onion, green pepper, okay. and then fresh pepper. We have our fish. Chef Ify. I have told you. <laughs> it's wake up, Nigeria. You have to wake up. Yes, I'm up. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's start all over again. The rice. We have our rice here. Yeah. In fire. We have our tomatoes, carrots, onion, and then green pepper. Fantastic. Already cooking. Okay. Then we have our fish, and then our Irish potato. All right. Our cabbage, okay. and then our spring onion, and then curry leaf, okay. and then soy um, sauce. Why this? Why the choice of curry leaves? Just to give it the difference of the flavor okay yeah you can naturally use the scent leaf okay yes but you, if you, you want yes that. i just use All that right. and then seasoning cubes and uh, salt of course the yes. ingredients are on your screen right now so you can quickly scribble them down and uh keep up with what's happening here the cabbage goes in now yes, yeah okay. so you allow that for a while oh look at that color i just love coloring food <laughs> So nice. Looks like a forest now, though. <laughs> okay. I'm sure everybody's waiting for when the fish will go in. Yeah, last. And everybody, including me. <laughs> the potatoes now. Yeah, the potato goes in now. Okay, I'm not going to leave the cabbage to steam. No, we don't have. It's all right. No, no, yes. Okay. Are you sure this is a side dish? Looks like the sauce is the main dish. It's the side dish and it's also a main meal. Depending on which way you want it. Okay. Wow. Okay. So I noticed you put a potato whole. No, this is a whole okay, potato. That's yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that was like our side side dish. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no. Okay. Wow. If you're not looking at the screen right now, uh, what's that NYC song? Uh, that NYC slang now. You are, you are, you are wrong. <laughs> yes, you have to be looking at the screen right now. Oh yes, we've taken the ingredients away. Yeah, the director is very generous today. He knows that so many people would like to try this. <laughs> okay, so what goes in next? Our soy sauce goes in. No, uh, no, no. That's this, the, the soy yes, sauce. Yes. At what point do these go in? Last, last right? Yes, okay. last. And that is last. Okay. We are putting the soy sauce before the salt because soy sauce has a bit of salt in it. Yes, yeah, so you can be able to tell the taste yes. so it doesn't get salty. Yes. All right then. So, let's see that. Time to taste. <coughs> I'm here. Uh, you're going to be doing the tasting all by yourself. <laughs> you can help me out. Ah, don't worry, I'm very, very willing. <laughs> this is really good. So I'm very willing. Yeah. So, so there you go. Just a bit, just a bit. It's called tasting. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I just want to tell you if the salt is enough. Yes. Aren't you ever oh, right it. now? I think we need some salt. We need some salt. Just a bit. I think that should be fine. That should be fine. Okay, so we will continue with our cooking. We will continue with our cooking. But you know, with food, the ambiance is even better when you have good music. Mm? So we're going to have some music while I enjoy more of this. Yummy is on standby with Sammy Ben. Mm. Thanks, Mary. Mary, just be chopping alone. You know what they say about people that chop alone? I'm just I'm saying. Because I'm not even ready to die. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, mm. so I've got here with me Sam Eben, who's a minister of the gospel, a singer, and of course, uh, a worshiper of Christ. Uh, and he's also the president of uh, the Branch Music Incorporated. Uh, his music ministration started from a very early age, as way back in 1997. That was about 22 years. This guy has been <laughs> doing gospel. He's amazing. And of course, he's about to perform something very special for us uh, this morning. 
Are you ready for us? Yeah. All right, so um, you're going to be doing something for us. Uh, but if I wanted to follow you on Instagram, how do I follow you? At Sam Eben. At Sam Eben on Instagram. You yeah. can check out some of his um, studio sessions and some of the things that you're going to be doing. And you're also working on your album, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so um, you're ready? Yeah. All right, so let's do it. Again, this beautiful morning, it's uh, the show that you love. Yes, indeed. The number one show on television. And the presenters you love too. Yes, we know you love us. <laughs> we love you too. I think that new hair is shocking you. Um, well, okay, so you That's noticed what? that it's new. Oh, oh, oh. I don't understand. Uh, um, you know when a guy notices that your hair is new? You know, it's just... So I'm, uh, I'm a guy. Oh, that, that's... So what, are you, what's, what am I supposed to call you? I don't know. All right, so we're uh, no. color into your mornings. <laughs> No, but I, I thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for the compliment. All right, so if you want to say something about TT's hair, yes, please. use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. Thank you. <clears throat> we have so and hashtag much. Hashtag TT's hair. <laughs> we have so much on the show apart from my hairdo. Mm -hmm. I'll be talking about this later. But um, just so you know, we're coming to you live from TVC Communications right here in Lagos. Yes. <clears throat> The lady with the hair is Titi Lyo Oyinsan. Yeah, of course. And this gentleman right here is Yomi Owokwe. We are right now live on yes. Facebook. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. And you can use, uh, check us out at TVC Connect. We've got, we've got a lot more on the show for you this Definitely. morning. Definitely. Now, a topic that a lot of people have discussed over the years uh, is going to be discussed here today. On parenting, we have Adetun Larry Adini. Now, she'll be here joining us to talk about, uh, okay, well, we'll be asking her this question. We'll be asking her to weigh in on this issue of spanking children. Is it ever right to do it, even when they get out of line? Spanking, flogging, beating. Spanking, we do not use okay. any of those other barbaric flogging. terms. Very barbaric terms. Flogging, belting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they used to belt you when you were a child. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, of course. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, goodness. And uh, so uh, <laughs> after that, we're going to be having a musical performance from Nigerian singer, songwriter Caesar. Looking forward to that one. See the way you find a muggy. Fine past mine, a muggy. Your body looks so clean and nice. Not just my type of muggy. Long time when me search for your bad, bad man, no see. Yeah, yeah. Send me one your fruit, girl, just like a dumb man. Cause where you dead, not there, I want it. My girl say I know play. Okay, so you know I didn't get to tell that that story earlier. So the last time I ever, you know, really spanked uh, one of the kids was she was I was on the balcony talking to someone. Yeah. And it was an event. It was a party. And then because we don't have balconies at home, I hadn't given them the opportunity to learn that hey, okay, when you're you on a balcony, you don't put your head through the bars. You don't, you know, be careful. So uh, one of them just comes around me. I'm talking, and she's like. Hey, mommy, look at me. And she puts her head through the bars. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I stopped talking, faced her, stop it, go inside, go and play with your sister. First one. Three minutes later, doo -doo 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 -doo, she comes back, puts her head and her shoulder. 
Hey! <laughs> Mr. Nisa hey. decided I that. stopped talking. Wait, I stopped talking. Faced her. What did I just tell you? Go back inside. This is not a play place. Right. This is not a place to play. Mm -hmm. People don't play here. And as you can see, I'm talking. She went inside. Two and a half minutes later, <laughs> yeah, she comes back. Yeah, she was actually okay, so you, you warned won her three. Yeah. I warned her three times. She put her head, she put her shoulder, now put one foot. Ah, hey! I told you. So the knees and the toes well, are joined. <laughs> I, the way I pulled her, I don't think... So you beat her in public? People were begging me. <laughs> <laughs> they were because, begging me. because you're, you, you're you not... Got, child it's, it's you because you don't live but outside this country. The truth is, your head, your shoulder, your foot off a balcony... <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what would they say I was doing? <laughs> that you were watching? Was, what would they, they would say it's, you were looking. It's not you that that this listening. I'm telling you, no, my no, head, no, no, my no, shoulder, no, no, my knee, no, hey. my toe. And I didn't even know my this. Head. I said, I know my mom, I, I, I couldn't even tell my mom about this because she would have doubled. But you spine. heard what we say about ki allowing the kids to express themselves. Yeah. Maybe she wants to be a gymnast. <laughs> wow. You saw, you saw, David o <laughs> saw David over the weekend. On the balcony. I let you break all You saw David over the weekend coming down from a balcony, you know, you know from happens, a round balcony. You know what happens when you did a few times? Now, next time, eh. what you do, what, what's happened now is that you've registered a look in her face. Yes. Yeah, so. in, her, in, her, in her mental, <laughs> in her mind. So that whenever she does something next time, you just give her that look. Eh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me just slit your eyes small. <laughs> ah, she said, Mommy has a good mood. So inside herself, I said, We don't reset. Ka, ka, ka. I said, You see this look me. thing, eh? So, it's something that parents these days really need to imbibe on. I, I, yeah. I see that it doesn't work on too many children. No, 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 no. I dare not. I will not conform. See, no, look, see, the look, <laughs> if you are giving the look, like your mean is threatening, 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 they'll just know. Yeah. You give the look, they'll, they'll yeah. give it back. <laughs> but you see, see what, this, this is a way to make the look work. You give the look with Koboko. <laughs> So, so you did it once, you did it twice, you did it three okay, times. So the okay, next time, okay, wait, okay, hold up. Yeah. Next time, you give the look. <laughs> ah! No, no. So okay. my friend gave the left, I left the shot. My okay. friend said something. While I was talking about this, he said, yeah, whenever he wants to, if he's going to, whenever he wants to beat the song, he tell the song, uh, Junior, go and bring the Bible. Mm. Uh. Uh, Junior goes to bring the Bible, he says, open it. <laughs> the Bible says, <laughs> Do not spare the rod. spare the rod and spoil it. <laughs> so now I'm, a, I'm obeying God's word. Now bring the pain. <laughs> so anytime he has God bring the Bible. Bible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. You know, so that's just what you I'm saying. This, this just oh, reminds no. me of an incident. The very last time my father ever flogged me. Now, till date, I don't know whether I actually collapsed. True, true. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear voices. Oh, <laughs> I could hear voices. Oh. And they said I collapsed. <laughs> but I could hear voices. <laughs> my dad was big, as in. I can't remember the crime, but I remember that flogging. And no. that day, I just went down. You know and that then I was hearing say. voices. They were like, ah. My, my <laughs> mom was like, oti pa mi no mo. Oti pa mi You know what I'm saying about stars? It's only once my father slapped me in public. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was like 40 cents I was to off. You know what it is to do? Boom, 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 boom. We're here once again. It's time for the parenting segment. A very hot topic, if I can borrow your views term. Uh, it's interesting to have a fellow mother, parent, and uh, parenting advocate here, Adetun Lanre Adini. She's joining us here for the first time on our parenting segment, and she's helping us to answer this question. Is it ever right? to spank the kids. Now she's the founder of Parenting with Adetou, which is a TV program, and she's the CEO of Baby Grubs, uh, Grubs Baby Enterprises. Baby Grubs Enterprises, which one is it? Baby Grubs is different from Grubs Baby. Oh, wow, Shell, okay. Shell, Shell is Baby Grubs, and then Tone is Grubs Baby. Fantastic. Baby Grubs is homemade, Tone is selling. Fantastic, <laughs> okay, all right, I get it now, I get it. But um, 12 years of experience is nothing to sneeze at. And it's always great. I, I chat with you as well. We have interesting conversations everywhere. Mm -hmm. But let's get to the topic. Is it ever right? Let's just go straight into it. Is it ever right to spank the kids? Yeah, Titi, you, 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 I'm sure you're, you're on the parenting platform. Mm. So you know what our views are when it comes to parenting. Mm. Yeah, spanking a child is it's relative. Mm. The, it's like how you lay your foundation. Okay. How you lay your bed, that is the way you're going to lie on it. Mm. If you try to discipline a child at a very early stage, and when I mean discipline a child at a very early stage, that's from about 10 months. Mm. If you learn to discipline your child early, then you don't need to spank that child later because that child will grow being disciplined. Okay. That child will grow being know, knowing his or her rights. Mm. Do you understand? 
But when you overlove, which is the problem a lot of mothers have, they overlove, they overshow love, care, you know, everything. Over pamper. Yeah. Mm. I, I, sometimes I don't even call it over pamper now. Mm. They show love in the wrong ways, mm. you know. So the, these babies now take advantage of their parents, you know. So when they take advantage of their parents, and babies can be very controlling. So they begin to work on your psyche. Mm. They begin to train you. They begin to fiddle with your mind, and then they begin to take advantage of the fact that you're showing them love, and they turn out to be sport brats. Mm. So at that point, when you now begin to see it, other people will see it ahead of you, yeah. but you will find it difficult calling your attention to correct your child. So when you now begin to see it, or some bold people now begin to say, your child is doing what is not right, your child spoke in a very rude way and all of that, then you want to spank that child, mm. you know? And spanking that child at that point in time is too it, late. It's too late. Hmm. Okay. So, so the earlier for you, the better. So I, I remember, I can distinctly remember my, my own mom uh, uh, feeding one of the twins at around nine months old. And uh, at that point, a lot of parents don't realize that these brains are over. You know, they're, they're really, really knowledgeable. They know how to manipulate That's their a, because parents. of what they eat. Mm. These days, children eat foods that are high in <laughs> omega-3, 6, and 9, their brains grow every second. 86% of their brain is a composition of fatty acids that helps in their brain development. So this, the, cogni the, the cognitive measures are very, very high. Mm. So these children are very smart. So the first thing I noticed was that this particular child didn't like this particular food. It was obvious. And she just looks at my mom and spits the food directly at my mom. And my mom immediately just spanks her on the thigh. And now this down. is a nine-month-old baby. A lot of people don't think of a nine-month-old as having that knowledge of, ah, I'm going to spit it out, whatever you can do, you can't do anything to me, that kind of thing. It depends. Mm. Now, spanking a child at that age, mm. and for that reason, it could be very good. Mm. Now, another thing is, if the child is having a reaction to that food, mm. do you understand? It's, it's what we call the um, histamine allergic reaction. Okay. It can trigger, it's just like you put your hand in a naked wire. It will shock you. Okay, you so understand? the baby could actually just be reacting be to the, the baby. So you need to be sure that. So you need to be sure the reason why you have to spank that child. Mm. But if that child is just developing a cultural attitude, like she beginning to identify that this is my favorite, I don't want this. Mm. Excuse me, what do you know? Put the baby <laughs> here. It was Shanabara. Put two. <laughs> just give her two and then do what? I, most times Reset. I tell. Yes, they'll put them back, you know, mm. reset them. Mm. You know, a, a lot of times I also have to tell moms to bring them. I said, don't worry, bring, eh, they're not eating, they're stressing you. Bring them, and they are, man, <laughs> don't wear on our way, and they come. And before you know it, by the time I do, <laughs> they start eating the food. I say, and it don't can you see? I say, no, it's not can you see. The problem is from you. Okay, so now this issue of spanking, I, there's a difference between spanking and flogging. Now, I yeah. feel there are some levels that some people go to that is just too much. It's temper, anger, frustration. Mm. Mm. Okay. The, the situation of the country, the situation of people's home, mm. they, they tend to now exercise to extend the anger, the frustration on the child. Though your child can do something and then at the wrong time and you just want to like, mm. you know, come on, sit down there. And you know, unknowingly, mm. you know, aggressively, you just hit the child carelessly. Come on, sit down there, you know, mm. that is barred. Okay. You, you shouldn't do that because mm. you say these children, they're very fragile. Mm. You don't want to hit a child in a place where something worse would happen. Mm. And then sometimes you wouldn't even know. Mm. I've seen people who, you know, yeah, well, necessarily just... spank the child. Mm. And you, before you know, the eye begins to bleed. Mm. And then before you know, you see an optician and the, the situation is complicated and all of that. So, so it should be a deliberate effort in correcting. We've, we've termed it that way before. I know we've had this conversation. We, we are deliberately trying to correct a particular behavior. Yes. When we're spanking. Yes. So it's not just um, um, a release of frustration, as you said. Yeah, but you, you have to be careful when you're doing that. Don't make it an everyday thing. If not, the baby going to do this for you. Oh yeah, spank. <laughs> and then the baby is just going to go because yeah. he or she knows that that's the, that's the next thing. Mm. Try to talk to the child. Mm try to give expressions, mm. body language. Mm. If, you, if you teach your child body language, like you go out in public and you do this, your child knows what you're talking about. You don't have to spank that child. Mm. But don't forget, these children are also smart. Mm. So sometimes you need to give them that, 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 that spank. It's necessary sometimes. Okay, so what about in public places? No. Now, the public tantrum for me is, 
it's I, I, I don't know, I've heard I've read so many books where I I hear, you know, parents just give up on this whole public chance from when, when the child just decides to roll on the floor, they've given up and they give the child what the child wants. Why is the child rolling on the floor? Hmm? The child wants a lollipop or something. Now, that's, that's, that now brings us to the issue okay. of you love in the wrong way. You give children things that they don't need. They get addicted to it and you cannot take it off them. Mm -hmm. You give a child too much sugar, the child will throw tantrums. It's automated. Mm. In the morning, the baby takes beverage, mm. which is not supposed to be. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, you give the child all these uh, biscuits and all of that. Mm. Later, you give sweet ice cream, and then the baby starts to give you the effect of your money. Jumping here and there. The baby is not calm. The brain is not calm. So why would you not want to, why would you, why would you not want to spank the baby? You spank yourself for doing the rubbish. Mm. Okay, so... So for me, mm. spanking the baby in public, that, you infringing on that child's right. I'm not going to allow that. You cannot do that. Mm. When you go back home, you can sit that, the child down and say, you don't do that anymore. Mm. If you do it again, you're not going out. Talk to them. Mm. They listen to. Mm. And sometimes when you want to talk to them, for me, sometimes I even beg, please don't disgrace me. Just look at me now. You know it's only <laughs> young. Because I'm telling you, because if the child turns out good, mm. the child belongs to the father. If the child turns out bad, so many times my husband will say, you see, your children, you see, they are spot mm. playing games. And I come in and they cannot greet me. Mm. And I'll be like, eh, can't you guys should deal now. When you're watching football, all of you are together now. Mm. Then I have to go do the spanking that why didn't you greet daddy? Mm. So, you know, it's, 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 it, it all depends. Let's, let's look, continue to look at it. Okay, so um, just to be clear, we never use things on children. So no. this issue of cane, omoru 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 cane, yeah? hand, mm. no, please don't do that. If you do that, some children would go outside and do the same thing. Mm. Okay. Do you understand? Right. You, you, before you know it, you bring out your shoes, you want to spank your child. One day your child is going to do the same. So it's like what the child sees at home mm. is what the child is going to display outside. Okay. So you can spank your child, you can talk hard on your child, you can scold your child. As a matter of fact, the easiest way of spanking child is depriving them of what they love the most. Okay. Such as? The games. The games. Take the games. Take the You're toys. not having this, mm. yes. You give the, the child the food, the child does, you must finish that food. Mm. Then you sit down and then start putting everything. If he wants to throw it out, let him throw it out. Then you put everything back again. <laughs> and then he knows that he got to eat it because he's been spanked. That's, that's another measure of spanking. Mm. Deprive them of what gives them that laughter temporarily. Mm. And then let them, let them now know the difference and the value. And then they begin to appreciate you that way. Mm. Okay, so um, we, we heard from Mike earlier, you know, that there, there are some kids that, you know, they've probably been spanked over time and they're used to it. So parents have made this mistake. It is all, they've already lost, you know, that respect with their kids. Mm -hmm. So True. how can they find their way back? The autocorrective measure. How? The autocorrective measure. Hmm. Now, it depends. It basically still depends on how you gain your respect. And gaining your respect back with every child, it means that you have to put a, you have to streamline love. It still goes back, back to the same thing. You, have, you should be able to define love, discipline, relationship with your child. Mm. That child is your child. You owe that child love. But at the same time, you need to build the relationship between yourself and your child so that your child knows when to come to you, when to run away from you, mm. when to laugh with you, when to be like, mommy is not going to listen to me now. Mm. You need to. So a lot of mothers need to go back on the drawing table <laughs> and say, just put up, yes, put love, discipline, respect, relationship. Mm. So when you're able to define those four, even mothers will now begin. You see a lot of people when their babies do something wrong and they spank. This time you spank the child and tell you, yeah, 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 come, 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 come. But do me a The baby is crying. Oh, yeah, come, come. <laughs> no, give, give the baby time. Sometimes some space. Give the baby some space. Mm. Don't spank a baby and bring the baby immediately. No, mm. then the baby knows that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get spanked, I'm gonna get pampered. So, you know, I wish we could continue this conversation, <laughs> but I think one. we should take it to social media. So what do you think about this issue of spanking the child? Is it ever the right thing to do? Please send in your messages and use our hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria for Twitter, uh, Facebook, and Instagram. Thank you so much, Aditon. Welcome. Honestly, we can't, I can't wait to have you back on the show for another topic. But uh, Mike is on standby right now. Caesar is right there for a performance. Yeah, you said it all. Caesar Mealy in the house. It's great to have you here, bro. Thank you so I'm much. I'm just going to stand. I'm going to stand when I grow. Uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay we'll be talking to you later on, right? but then you're about to 
give us a wonderful performance right now, right? Take care with you, bro. Thank you so much. All right. See the way you find a muggy. Find past mine, a muggy. Your body looks so clean and nice. Not just my type of muggy. Long time when me search for you, but bad man, no see. Yeah, yeah. Send me one your fruit, girl, just like Adam and Eve. Cause where you dead, now they are one day. My girl say I no play. Promise say I will never go astray. Yeah, me lucky say so you come my way. You dead, now they are one day. My girl, you don't take. Where you don't they tickle my fancy. Please come stay with me. Yeah. 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 Where's your money, girl? I'm not your money, girl. Where's your money, girl? I'm not your money, girl. Where's your money, girl? I'm not your money, girl. Where's your money, girl? I'm not your money, girl. Where's your money, girl? I'm not your money, girl. Where's your money, girl? 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 <laughs> All right, so you saw him earlier perform, and of course, he's sitting on the couch with us, yes, Mr. Caesar Millie. Yeah. How you doing, man? I'm all right, man. How you guys doing? You're, you're looking so chill, uh, so relaxed. I, I think I'm actually a little bit starstruck, funny enough. Like, oh my God, Caesar! <laughs> 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 all right, so, you, as in, so meeting you in person is so different from, obviously, how we always say it, seeing yeah. you on TV, mm -hmm. seeing you in videos and things like that on stage. But um, it's, it's really great to meet you. Welcome to the studio. Thank you so much for having me. So how do we start this now? I think... We wanted to start with your journey. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Where you're coming from. I, I know that you, you have a background in a little bit of engineering, computer mm -hmm. science, something yeah, like yeah. that. But you've always had music in your blood. So tell us about that journey. Um, it's been really crazy. But a journey that I would uh, still... Um, go on if I ha were to come back again. Mm. Um, so many life lessons and, you know, um, it hasn't been smooth, but okay. yeah, it's been worth it, you know. Uh, How did it start? How did you know you were going to, you know, go into That's music? the thing. You never know. I didn't know. Mm. You didn't know. So how, what, what happened that led to this? I was wasting my time. I was playing football. but no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was playing football. I was playing soccer. Mm -hmm. um, I tried other things, you know, basketball, mm -hmm. uh, which I was really good at. But it's just not, you don't love it, mm. you know. So mm. it's like working. I don't want to work. I want to have fun. I want to enjoy what I'm doing. And it took me a while to understand it was music. I actually worked into a church with my mom. And the pastor just said, guys, like, you're going to be singing to this. Wow. <laughs> I don't understand what the guy was saying, but like, okay. <laughs> but I knew, said. like, I could make beats and all of that. Yeah. I wasn't really singing much, but yeah. I, I was singing when I was younger, maybe in church. Mm. Yeah, but apart from that, mm. music I, And nice. you look like you also went through this evolution process where uh, your name was, first of all, uh, E Fine. Oh, yeah, that's, 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 that's a crazy story. Boy too. Wonder. So, okay, so uh, tell us about that story. You know, sometimes in life you have to be sure what you want, and if you don't find what it is you're looking for, you keep, you know, change too is important. Okay. You know, so I changed my name uh, a couple of times until I found the one that worked. And the funny thing about the story was, every time I changed my name, I tattooed on my body. <laughs> <laughs> no way. So now I have E Fine. Okay. I have Yeo. I have Boy Wonder. <laughs> okay. Oh I thought Boy Wonder is large. Yeah, the only name I don't have on my body is Caesar Millie. Wow. And so is that gonna, you're going to ink that in soon? I, I, well, it doesn't matter because without even inking it, the world is listening. So. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm in that place of, you know, okay, music in Nigeria is just such a rough space. And the fact that you had to change your name so many times, it's possible 
that it, it, it could have had something to do with the name. Maybe you just weren't connecting with the name. People weren't connecting with the name. So I, I've heard that, you know, sometimes record labels tell you, oh, this, is, this name is, you know, stronger than another name and yeah, things like yeah, that. Yeah, it I happens that like well. that. You have to, you always have to keep trying until people accept whatever it is like music. Okay. Right? The first song doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be a star. Okay. It might be the 20th song. Hmm. It might never even come. Mm. You know, but you just have to keep trying and keep working with mm. that. I, I like, you know, I mean, part of your story is that a lot of what you do because of your consistency, uh, a lot of the big acts, you know, once they run into you, they want to work with you. I mean, internationally, you worked with Sakodi, mm -hmm. and of course in Nigeria, Wizkid, yeah. David O, and the rest of them. Mm -hmm. So tell us about how, what happens when you usually meet these guys and how, of course, you get into the studio together. Um, I mean, it's usually the same vibe with the people that, same people that, but mostly with the people I don't know on the ones. Mm. Okay. So take out the likes of Wiz and maybe Tiwa, mm. you know. The rest, I met them when we started making music. But I've known Wiz from, like, back in the day. So you know, yeah. So, yeah, mm -hmm. so, um, but the likes of Burner Boy, you know, David and the rest of them. Uh, it's just, you know, when you have something that people are looking for, they're going to come to you. You know, so Mr. Right. Fadi said my market. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you know, yeah. um, most of them want me to write songs for them. So, um, and I've been fortunate enough to, I've been blessed to write some of the hits from, you know, last year up until now. So, yeah, a lot of people tend to come to me for work. All right. Mostly. So I, I, I've always thought of, you know, if my child told me, they wanted to go into music and hmm. I'm like, yeah, I don't know what I'll say. <laughs> so what was your story? What did your parents say when you said you're going into music? Um, I remember I, I was hiding the music thing from my mom for a while. Hiding? Yes, for a very long time. How do you mean hiding? Like, like I was in school now. Okay. So she didn't know I was going to the <laughs> studio to sleep and wow. be a studio rat. You know? <laughs> okay. So, um, I think I came back and I was like, I want to be as big as these guys. Mm. So why won't my mom support me? So I told her, and she was like, it's like, this one is mental. Okay. You know, so I, I kept, you know, I kept bringing it up every now and then and she would be mad. Mm. Uh, until one day I just set out. How? We were in church and I acted like I was going to give a testimony. Okay. And I came out to the church and I'm like, yo, so yeah. That woman did. I don't want me to sing. <laughs> okay. In church? <laughs> no oh way. So, I'm going to sing for you guys now. And if I sing mm. and you don't think I'm good enough, mm. tell me so I can listen to my mom. Wow. But if I'm good enough, tell my mom to let me leave my dreams. Okay, that's a different one. And <laughs> I did, and for some reason, I think there was onions. In church that day, because it was. What, what was the song? What was the song you sang? Um, I think it was. <laughs> now I know my my redeemer lives. Yeah, okay, so I'm you know you're gonna have to keep singing that, right? Like right now. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's go. Can I still remember the lyrics though? Now I know. Now I know. I'm out of church for my a redeemer time. lives. I know my redeemer. Yeah. Let all creation testify that there's life within me right now. I know my Redeemer lives. Oh, taking you back to church. Oh my gosh, now if my mom had it, oh, Did if your mom, your mom heard it, she must have. Yeah, she cried. Yeah. She yeah. must have cried. Mom cried, and Pastor cried, a bunch of people cried. They were like, oh, let this guy sing now. <laughs> let this guy <laughs> sing. <laughs> Hey. Oh. Me but she, I'm, I'm sure that at that point she was like, yes, she's going to be a great gospel artist. Okay. And pull up to the thing with, let the man here bless you. <laughs> oh, I was man. like, what? <laughs> so, I, so a couple of days ago, my, one of my favorite aunties hit me up. And she was like, ah, oh, my boy, you're never picking my calls again. I'm like, oh, auntie, I'm so busy. She's like, oh, it's not even a problem. I just want to ask you one question. Hmm. Why didn't they kept girls in your video? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That I said, question. no, me, it's the director. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I guess they thought I was going to be a gospel artist. But oh. it doesn't really matter as long as, you know, I don't sing about things that, you know, um, 
bring people down, mm. uh, you know, socially or mentally or any type of way. Um, my music always is for, you know, to lift people up in whatever type of way yeah. or however way you can relate to yeah, it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. And a lot of times, you guys, you're now sleeping, you sing 17 songs, you're now sleeping the number 18. Gospel. 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 <laughs> no, but Why? that's the thing. That's the thing about, that's, that's other artists, mm. right? Like, I've been able to do a lot of work with a lot of people and understand that people are just making music. Mm. I'm not just making music. I am music. Mm. So how do you use your music to affect the lives of the people? Mm. Nobody has really heard since I'm releasing music. So 2019, that's what the year mm. is about for me. Yeah. Okay. Like I've been in the studio since the start of the year. I've been working. And I'm trying to put out music that everyone can relate to. And I'm also trying to make music that's not necessarily the kind of songs that every regular Nigerian artist will put out. Okay. You know, so my music doesn't always have to be bang, 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 bang. <laughs> I could have some inspirational music. Yeah. It doesn't have to be gospel, but I can yeah. sing and I believe I can fly. Yeah. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Yeah. Talk to us about the aristocrat group. You know, you guys. Mm. Um, it's my Yeah, you, you guys seem to be uh, making your mark bit by bit in the industry. Bit by bit? It. Yeah. They make stars. <laughs> they made Burner Boy. Come okay. on. Yeah. Okay. okay. Aristocrat made Burner yeah. Boy. Mm. Biggest African artist as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> <laughs> you went there. Okay, it's my favorite. It's yeah, my favorite. favorite. I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite. It must be tough though, you know, trying to manage egos, you know, because working with all these artists, they might be dragging on your time as well. So like you have a T.Y., you have a whiskey, and both of them call you at the same time. Who would you go for first? Who papers? Wow, who? Papers. Drop the mic. Who papers? <laughs> Or who feeds you the best? Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna feed you right now. Yes, yes, yes. Something yes, special. Yes, yes, we are even hungry. Oh, <laughs> let's <laughs> go. Could you join us? Let's in the go. Kitchen? Let's go. Thank you so much. Let's go. All right. Hey, people. All right then. Hey. Welcome to the kitchen. <laughs> I'm yeah, going to see me. I want to stand. Uh, oh, no. you have to sit down. <laughs> All right. Well, but this is your position I, right if here. I, if I feed, it will not digest. Oh, okay. All right, Caesar. Really, right. welcome to the kitchen. This Hi. is Chef Ify. Ah, beautiful people. Hi, how you doing? to this meal. So mm. tell us about this. What is it called and how did you arrive at this? Okay, this is fish fish side dish. Okay. So with and boiled a, rice. boiled rice on mm. the side, yes. So basically what we use is fish. You can use any kind of fish. We use um, Irish potatoes, tomatoes, cabbage, carrots, and all other. sorts of vegetables. Yes. And it's ready, it's ready yeah. for, for yes. us to eat. So, and it, look, it looks vegan. great. It smells amazing. You can start from anywhere. Say yes, to. Uh -uh. There you go. Right. Some nice fish. So we want to make sure that this verdict. is your best interview hmm. this year. <laughs> so anywhere else you go and they don't yeah, feed you, just know that. Go on, it's, yummy. It's please, random. please, where's my manager? Where is he? And we do this like Monday to Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm quite curious about two things: your name and your hair. Hmm. How did you come about both? Mm, okay, first of all, which one do you want first? The uh, hair. No. Okay, taste Do you want me to answer this question? No, taste the food first, please. This one, I'm uh, looking on my... <laughs> Where's Mike? Oh, okay. A big no, shout out Mike to... Mike in a very good, calm uh -uh. mood today. I think Mike is about to go down with malaria. He's not talking really? about food. Really? The food is in front of him, Mary? and he's not reacting. Oh, goodness me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think his problems are worse than. Oh. <laughs> no, you see now, you see now. How is it? How is it? It's amazing. Amazing. Please. Thank you. When can you zoom work? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Personal chef. Wow. That was out your master said. <laughs> wow. A big Mary. thank you to Homie NG for the kitchen accessories on the show. Mary thank went you so there. much. And of course, Fola at Fola's Place, thank you so much for the hairstyling. We really appreciate you. Thank you, Fola. A yeah. big shout out to all the guests that came on the show today. Yeah, including Caesar Millie. Thank, thank you so you much so for joining much us. Fire. It's yes. going to be a big year for you. We're going to be looking out for you this year. Trust yes. me. So we'll let us come. know what you're going to be up to. Um, all right. A lot. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> We're back tomorrow, Wednesday. Yes, indeed. On Wake Up Nigeria. 7 a.m. See you there. Bye. Have a great day.